Automatic folding slash unfolding of the side mirrors is a great option on cars, but also a problem when you live in places with cold winters. A lot of snow and ice can block the side mirrors, and their unfolding after unlocking the car can be problematic or even cause a failure of the electric motor inside them. Disabling this option on my car is not possible through the settings available on the dashboard, so after some googling I stumbled on a great open source diagnostic software for cars. Today, I will show you how to install DDT for all software and how to disable this option on a Renault Codger 1.2 petrol car from 2018 year. In addition to the software, you will need the database files that contain the car's computer modules necessary for coding and setting changes. Both, the software and the database files, can be found by simply googling. Just search DDT for all, for software, and Renault DDT 2000 database, for database files. The database files are usually on some torrent site as they are quite large. From hardware, you will need a laptop and one ELM 327 OBD adapter. It is important that this adapter is with 25K80 chipset. I have Bluetooth VGate OBD2 adapter which work perfectly. Some people prefer USB because they have a more stable connection and it is less likely that the connection may be interrupted during coding, which can irreversibly damage your car's ECU. Now let's install the software. Installation is straightforward, like with the most softwares. After installation, it is necessary to copy to the ECUS folder from the database files to the root folder of the software. That's all, now let's run the software. In this window you will be shown your OBD adapter. Of course, you need to install it on your laptop first. Installation is plug and play so just connect the USB or search for a Bluetooth device and connect to it. Here we have to acknowledge that we are aware that tampering with the car in this way can break our car's ECU and cost us a lot of money, so please advise, don't do it if you are not sure what you are doing. I'll show you everything on my car later, but for now, we'll be testing the software in demo mode. Expert mode must be enabled. First we need to select our car, in my case it is Renault Codger, and then the ECU model. For auto fold slash unfold of side mirrors we have to select BCM slash UCH, then CMF1 underscore BCM underscore DDT underscore 11, double click on it. In the lower window, double-click on the available module, in this case we have only one. And in screens window select MMI configuration. When the software is connected to the car it will automatically read the current settings and if the option is turned on you will see true under automatic underscore folding underscore CF. Change the status of the option, under right, to the, false, and click on send. Software will finish with your command really fast and after that you can close the software. Now, let me show you all of this on my car.
First, we need to connect our OBD2 adapter. The location of the OBD2 port in my car is on the right side under the dashboard. After connecting the OBD2 adapter, you need to put the car in the accessories function mode. To do this, leave the car in parking gear, and without pressing the brake, press the start button. This will put the car into ACC mode for a few minutes and the length time varies from car model to car model. As my OBD2 adapter is a Bluetooth adapter, before starting the DDT for all software, I will connect the adapter to the laptop. can run the software and follow the instructions that I have already shown you. forget that expert mode must be enabled. As I have already enabled this option, for me, the status of this option is false, and I will not change it now, because it is still winter here, but by changing this status and clicking the send button, you can change how this feature will automatically behave when locking and unlocking the car. I hope you find this video useful, and if so, please like, share and comment. You are also welcome to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. I want to remind you that I first went to an authorized Renault service center, and even contacted Renault themselves by email, asking for help in turning off this option, but unfortunately the only thing I got from them was that this is not possible to do. And as you can see, it is very possible to do it yourself without much expense. However, performing ECU coding always carries the risk of damaging your car, so be aware of this and proceed with caution. If you are not sure how to do it, it is better to contact the responsible service to do it for you. The cost of that is definitely less than it will be if you need to replace the ECU.